If something goes wrong with your electrics, it can be really worrying. And in addition to that, there are a lot of rules that you might not know about. So we've brought along which local expert, Pete Tynan, to talk us through what you need to know about electrical work. Um, so Pete, is it a bit like gas safety where you absolutely have to use a qualified gas professional? No. With uh, electrical work, you don't need, there's no legal requirement to have the work done by uh, someone who's competent to do so. However, some electrical work needs to be certified as being safe. So how do I go about making sure it's certified as safe? So the easiest thing to do is get what's called a Part P electrician in to do the work. If you don't do that, and it's one of these, uh, what's called a notifiable work, then you need it inspected and certified by the local authority after the work's done. Does that mean I can't do any electrical work myself? No, you can do any electrical work uh, you like, although we wouldn't advise it unless you, <laughs> you know what you're doing. However, some jobs, particularly in the kitchen, bathroom and outside the house, uh, need, either need to be done by a competent person, this is a Part P electrician, or else certified as being safe by the local authority. What happens if I don't use someone who's Part P registered or get it certified as safe? Well, you may think the work is safe, but there's no way you can actually prove it, and that's where Part P comes in. When you come to sell your house, you may run into problems. The vendor or vendor solicitors will demand to see paperwork to show that it's safe and up to scratch, and unless you've got that Part P certificate, you may run into trouble. So if we look around this room, can I do anything myself? Well, the kitchen's one of the rooms where there are particular problems, so basically any room where there's water, um, you need to tread very carefully, and it's likely that the work needs to be done properly by a Part P person. For example, in the kitchen, basically all you can do is uh, the light fitting. Um, that should be fairly safe. However, things like a cooker, where a cooker needs um, to be wired into a separate uh, uh, circuit, therefore they're covered by Part P. Another difficult area is the bathroom because it's a wet room. For example, if you wanted to install an electric shower or put a socket in the bathroom, that's covered by Part P and you'd need the certificates. So what if my fuse box breaks? Yeah, fuse box or consumer unit is definitely covered by Part P and you'll need to have that certified. But my living room, surely it's got to be safer than all those rooms with water in. The living room is, is safer, but you also still need to take care of doing any electrical work because it is dangerous. But there's lots of things you can do in the living room. For example, installing or replacing plug sockets, lighting fittings. However, it's best to check if you are unsure of anything because major work throughout the house is probably covered by Part P. So for example, rewiring jobs is often covered by Part P. So do check first. So as it turns out, I'm actually not that good at DIY. I know I need to get an electrician in, but how do I go about finding someone good? The best way of finding a reliable trader is through word of mouth, and that's where Witch can help. The Witch local service is exclusive for Witch members and it features thousands of reviews for local traders, all by which members who've used these local people and have had a good experience of their, their work. So use which local to find a reliable trader near you. Thanks for that, Pete. I hope we've given you enough advice to get you going, but if you want more information, you can see the full guide about electricians on witch.co.uk.